Hi there, my name's Joe from Sparkle. I'm just going to show you a brief explanation on the different options of saving within Sparkle. Um, some people have fed back that they're having issues saving or they don't know how to save exactly. So I just want to give a brief description of the saves and the saves options as it might be slightly different from other software you have used. So um, to begin with, um, we'll just quickly create a very small scribe just using a quick image here. So I'm just going to go to the library and find an image. Let's find a creature. How about an owl? Okay. Now, when you've created a new scribe, it automatically does not have a name. Now, we need to give the scribe a name to be able to save it. You won't be able to save it without a name at all. So, on the screen, you'll see a green ribbon in the top left-hand corner. Um, when you highlight it, it says return to home project slash product screen. screen. It doesn't say save, which um, you think it might do. Okay, so you see here that it's got a list of different options. You've got the home icon, you've got a blank box here, you've got a save online tab and two save options and a trash option. Now, um, in this particular scenario, um, what we're going to do is we're going to save the scribe online. So I'm going to give it a quick name, which is owl, and then I'm going to check the save online option. Now, you'll notice that when I check save online, that middle save option disappears because that's exclusive to local saves so when you click save online you only get two options now you can trash it or you can save and close the scribe so we're going to save and close the scribe on this occasion now what happens is that the scribe then saves online and you're taken back to the home screen here now the home screen um, will now show the directory is online um, here's your local directory and you just click this button to switch between the two. Now if you're al always saving locally and you have nothing saved online um, and you try to switch this over, what will happen is that you will continually get a spinning pen symbol. If you don't have any scribes saved online you will not be able to access that directory until you do. Another tip to advise you of is when you do save online, particularly with large scribes, is always wait for it to appear in the online directory before closing video scribe down. Um, basically, when you go to save, it takes you to the home page and then the upload is going on in the background. So if you're closing down video scribe while the upload is going on, your save isn't going to complete. So uh, please be aware of that. So what we're going to do now is open up the file and I'll show you briefly the local saves. So we'll keep the owl name saved and then we change that over and again you see the second save option pops up. Um, so first of all we'll just show you the first save option, save and close the scribe. So see a lot quicker there, it saves locally as owl. Now um, you might want to open up a scribe, make some adjustments. Um, so I'll just quickly show you saving as owl number one and then save and close the scribe again. Now you notice that there's still only just one save here. What happens is if you save using that particular option, any previous work that you've done will be overwritten and the existing save option will be the only one that exists. Now some people would like to basically have a master or a template of work that they do. So um, that's easy enough. So again, loading up the scribe and instead of clicking the first save button, you select set save as a new copy and close. This will keep the original scribe you uploaded onto the canvas and give you the additional save option. Again, just make sure that you can see both the scribes saved in the directory before closing down video scribe. Okay, that was a brief explanation of how saves work. Um, we'll be doing a few more tutorials, so stay tuned for more. Thank you very much.